Okay, so get ready to put your math skills to work to solve this interesting little math word problem. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and read the problem. It is as follows. Three cats weigh 8.2 pounds, 9.7 pounds, and 12.5 pounds, respectively. What's greater, the median or the mean, when it comes to the weight of these cats? All right, so that is the question. Feel free to use a calculator, but if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second, then of course we'll walk through exactly how to solve this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, well, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. All right, now before I show you the answer, let's go to take one more quick look at the question. So three cats weigh, we have 8.2 pounds, 9.7 pounds, and 12.5 pounds respectively. So what's greater in value, the median or the mean when it comes to the weight of the cats? All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. So the correct answer is going to be, um, or uh, it's going to be either the median is greater or the mean is greater. And in this case, the right answer is the mean. The mean is greater in value. Now, I'm not going to show you the value of the median or the mean just yet, but this is the answer. And even if you guessed, that is fantastic. But if you actually did all the math and knew exactly what you were doing, well, we have to celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face and A plus a 100%. And multiple stars, so you can tell your friends and family that indeed you are a certified professional expert in the area of very basic statistics. And that's what we're talking about here. The median and the mean have to deal with statistics. Okay, and it's uh, very important that you understand uh, what these words mean because they are all over the place in terms of real life. But uh, this is not that difficult. And let's go ahead and get into it right now. Okay, so first things first. First, we have a lovely math word problem. Always use the rule of three. Read a problem at least three times before you, uh, you know, take any path to um, solve the problem. But in this particular case, it's pretty straightforward in terms of what we have. So we have three cats. We have the weights of these uh, three cats. And what we're trying to do is to figure out what's greater is the median or mean. So clearly, we're going to need to understand what is the median and what is the mean and how to calculate each of these respective measures. So let's go ahead and review that. And then, of course, once we understand exactly how to calculate the median and mean, we can answer the question. All right. Now, uh, these words are often confused. Now, here is a little pop quiz for you. <clears throat> so we have um, the mean. Let's talk about the mean. So we have some data here, some information. So we have 1, 4, 6, and then over here we have 1, 4, 6, and 10. So uh, how do we calculate the mean of these numbers? Matter of fact, if you want to go ahead and do this real quick, that is fantastic because I want to see if indeed you know the difference between the mean and uh, median. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. So the mean is just a fancy word for average, all right? So when you see mean, uh, what we really mean here is average. And I think most of you hopefully remember how to calculate the average. All right, so let's go ahead and actually do this real quick. Uh, this is not that difficult. So when we, when, when we calculate the average and or the mean, what we do is we add up the numbers or the values in our data set, uh, and then we divide by how many numbers that we have. So here we have three numbers, one, two, three, and the value the value of these numbers is one, four, and six. So if we want to calculate the average, what we have to do is add up all these numbers and then divide by how many numbers we have. So one plus four plus six divided by three will give us the answer. Matter of fact, let's go down here. This is not equal to this. This is equal down here. So one plus four plus six, so four and six is 10, and then 10 plus one is 11. So 11 divided by three, when we go into our calculator and take 11 divided by 3, we're going to get uh, 3.6 repeating. All right, so that is the mean uh, there for that uh, particular problem. And then for this problem right here, we have 1, 4, 6, and 10. 
So uh, same process, right? We're going to add up these numbers. So uh, 4 and 6 is 10, plus 10, that of course is 20. And then we have uh, 20 plus 1 is 21 divided by 4 because there's four numbers. All right, so we have 21 divided by 4. And when we do this lovely math, we get a 5.25. Okay, so uh, again, we have the mean here or the average. And what is uh, this telling us? Well, it's just one way to uh, try to look at this information and make sense of it. Okay, that's what we, when we use uh, terms like the average, right? Like what is the average cost of a house? Uh, what is the average cost of a pair of shoes? What is the average, uh, you know, cost of a car? You know, the average is trying to give us a sense of, you know, something that represents the bigger picture. Okay, but that's not the only measure. And again, the average is uh, the same thing as uh, the mean. And oftentimes, the average can be deceiving. All right, so you want to have more ways to measure information or data. And another way we can uh, measure information or data is the uh, median. Okay, and a matter of fact, the median oftentimes is the better approach. All right, so here is our same set of data. So what is the median of 1, 4, and 6? And then we want to figure out the median of 1, 4, 6, and 10. All right, so for those of you that know uh, what the median is, uh, you know, answering this question should be super easy. This one right here is not that difficult as well, but uh, let's go ahead and talk about uh, how to find the median. Okay, so before we even talk about how to find the median though, let me just go ahead and stop myself. What is the median? Well, here is what the median is. All the median is is uh, when we have our data, our values, our information that we're looking at, we want to write this in lowest to highest order. So you can see here we have one, four, six, not six, one, and four. Now, if I gave you the numbers here, six, one, and four, we'd have to reshuffle these and, and, and put them as lowest to highest, all right? So that's very, very important that you do this first. So we gotta make sure that the numbers or the information is in, again, ascending order. Now, the median is kind of like, you know, um, what it sounds like. It is, median might sound like middle, and indeed, that's what this is. It is, uh, it's the middle number, okay? So when you uh, um, put your data, your information, in ascending order from lowest to highest, and you go right to that middle number, that is the median. So right here, the median uh, is four, okay? Nothing to do here, but uh, here we have... Uh, three numbers, right? We have one number on the left, one number on the right, so it's pretty clear uh, what the middle number is. It's going to be four, but what about over here? Well, there is no middle number, right? Well, we're like, okay, we have this in the right order, one, four, six, and ten, so the middle number is what? Well, uh, when you have an even number of uh, values in your data set and you're looking for the median, what you have to do is you have to average the two numbers that are closest to the middle. And in this case, that is four and six. So to uh, figure out the median here, all we have to do is figure out the average between four and six. So four plus six is what? Well, that's 10, we have two numbers. So 10 divided by two is five. So five is the median of this data set. Okay, so hopefully uh, you now know the, uh, the difference between the mean and the median. And uh, this should be a pretty uh, easy problem to figure out. Now, the median, okay, this is a very common uh, word that you'll hear in all different sorts of news reports. Oftentimes, I'll talk about the median home value, okay? I'm just uh, picking out one example. They're not talking about the average home cost. Sometimes they will, or the mean, uh, but this word is often used. So let's say the average or the median home cost is $300,000 in some city. Okay, or some uh, town. So what does that mean? Well, it means that half of the homes cost more than 300,000 and half of the um, homes cost less than 300,000. This is the exact middle value. And the median is actually a very good uh, representation of a lot of information. So that's why they use it, okay, versus the average. The average can be uh, quite deceiving. Uh, you know, if I say the average home cost, is let's say $400,000 in a neighborhood. Well, you might be saying, okay, maybe each house here costs, you know, around $400,000, right? 
or maybe, uh, uh, well, yeah, well, let's just stick with 400,000, okay? So what does this mean? Well, maybe each of these houses here costs 400,000, but maybe uh, right here, matter of fact, let's change this to $100,000, okay? This is a little bit better for this example. Let's say the average home cost is $100,000. So if you're walking down the street in this neighborhood, you know, where the average home cost is 100,000, you might say, oh, okay, each of these houses are probably gonna be around 100,000. That is not the case. The average or the mean can be deceiving. So what you could have here is one house, this house being <laughs> could cost a dollar, this is one dollar, this is one dollar, and then this house over here is like a little bit over $400,000, okay? So if I add up 400,000 plus one plus one, 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 I mean, we have pretty close to 400,000 divided by four houses here, our average is gonna be around 100,000. So the average can be quite deceiving. That's why uh, a lot of times, um, uh, you know, news reports or economic reports like to use the median. So you gotta be careful with the average, which of course is the mean. But uh, let's get back to the problem and let's go ahead and take the next step, which of course is having you quickly subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't you like how I just kind of sneak that in? Well, um, I definitely, have a goal in 2024. And by the way, it's still January, at least when I'm going to be posting this video. So happy new year. It's still not too late for me to wish you a happy new year. But my goal in 2024 is to try to make a thousand videos this year. Last year, I made like 730 uh, videos, which is still a huge amount of content. And I try to spread it out between basic math and advanced math. So um, that's my goal. Now that, you know, whether I'm going to reach that goal or not, well, we'll see, but you should have a goal as well. And if your goal is to improve in math or learn math, that is fantastic. But uh, in a way, the way to achieve that goal, if you want to learn mathematics, is you got to get the right materials, okay? Now, I'm assuming that you're already committed to learning math and you have, you know, great habits like taking notes and, you know, showing all your work, et cetera, et cetera. But what you need beyond that is a great teacher, great instruction. And if you really want to learn math from me, uh, you know, beyond these videos, well, then check out my full main math courses. You'll find links to all of those in the description below. Some of you may not be students, and if you're not a student, but if you're still interested in relearning math, check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. I'll uh, reteach you everything from basic math all the way up to trigonometry and beyond. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish this problem up because this is going to be very easy. All right, so here's the weights of our cat. So we have 8.2, 9.7, 12.5. All we're really concerned about here, we have the units of measure of pounds, is um, the actual numbers. Now, we're looking at these numbers here, and I'm thinking about the median and the mean. So I want to make sure that these numbers are in ascending order from lowest to highest, and indeed they are. So 8.2, 9.7, 12.5. So right off the bat, I have 9.7 as my uh, median. OK, because I have three numbers here. So uh, half is, uh, you know, uh, you know, this number here on the left and this number here on the right. This is the perfect middle value. So there, I don't have to average, uh, you know, any two center numbers here. So I already have the median. OK, 9.7. All I got to do here is find the mean, which is the average. So let's go ahead and do that. And then, of course, we'll compare it to 9.7 to see which number is greater. So we're just going to simply add these number up, uh, add these numbers up, 8.2 plus 9.7 plus 12.5. All that's going to be equal to 30.4. That divided by three, because there's one, two, three numbers, is approximately 10.3. So we can see here that our mean of 10 point, I'm sorry, 10.13 is greater than our median of 9.7. Okay, so just a quick little example of basic statistics. And, uh, you know, again, this stuff isn't difficult, but uh, these terms here, the median and mean, are often very confused. Now, if you are studying basic statistics, well, um, I teach this in pretty much all my courses at, um, you know, at the respective level. So in other words, if you're at the pre-algebra level, I'll teach you kind of basic statistics, basic statistics, excuse me, and probability and statistics because they go hand in hand. And uh, even in my pre-calculus course, and my algebra two course, I teach the same concepts, but just at a more advanced level. So if you need help with, uh, you know, um, you know, things like the mean, the median, you know, at a more advanced level, uh, probability and statistics, that type of stuff, which is, of course, a very common part of a lot of math courses, then check out those courses or check out some of my other YouTube videos on these uh, topics. 
But uh, with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.